I think the biggest thing is that merely being asked to do new stuff, shall I, dare I say, feminine stuff, as well as hold on to all the traditional masculine things. So it's kind of like, if you don't mind me using the characters, it's kind of like you're supposed to be Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator, or Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic, all at the same time. That's just not fair. It's too many jobs. So you think you're getting a bad deal? That men are getting a bad deal? Oh, I do, yeah. I think I'm being held up to two opposing standards sometimes. And it gets really difficult in a relationship when you're trying really hard, but it turns out you're holding up the wrong standard on the wrong day. Okay, here's a question for you. Do you think men have the op option to stay home and not work? Is that a real possibility yet? Yeah, just barely, yeah. I think they actually do. But of course, not without feeling obliged to explain their choices all the time. Whereas women, who step out into the work world, don't have to do as much explaining. Well, except that they do, in the sense that we still have a big debate about whether or not women should work full-time when they have young children. You know, who does a child care? Should women try to be home when the kids are home? Should they feel guilty? Nobody questions them saying, is it right? I mean, they may question themselves, but men have to defend themselves greatly if they said they wanted to be a full-time, stay-at-home dad and house husband. Hmm. So you still think that it's men who have to justify themselves if they decide to stay home, or if there's a man on the playground with... Yeah, or if they hold up a singularly masculine role as the provider, like back in the 1950s, when a man was supposed to bring home the bacon, and his wife was expected to fry it up in a pan. If a man tries to hold on to that now, he's not really a modern guy, and he has to defend himself quite a bit. Where, whereas if a woman wants to, quote, have it all, unquote, well, that's almost expected, really. I mean, she's allowed to have a fulfilling career, to be a great mother, and have a lovely tended home.